Hey, it's Mark Coleman from Pulse Photo, the lab at Pulse Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's another great day to be creative. Look, daylight savings time is here. I get home from work, there's still light coming in the windows. It's awesome. And it's day 369 of our Be Creative series, which means doo doo doo, cabbage day three. If you missed episode one of cabbage, it was the whole cabbage. Lesson two, episode two of cabbage was a leaf backlit. Today, we're going to pay homage to Edward Weston. Come take a look at the cabbage, right? Look at the, the detail in the cabbage. Look at what's going on here, right? We've got the last rays of the sun, that very soft light coming in. And look at how we framed the cabbage, right? So we've got this beautiful arc and this very strong line here. We're going to focus right here on the cabbage. F11, ISO 400, and, and one second exposure. But look at the bright light here, right? That's from the sunlight coming in through the window. So what am I going to do? I'm going to soften it. I'm going to use the Lastolite Triflector in the diffusion mode. And why do I like the Triflector? Because I can put the light exactly where I want it. So there I can soften the light all the way through or I can bring it back. So put, the, put it right up there on the cabbage. Look what happens when I take the reflector away and put the reflector in right about there is where I want it. And now I'm gonna shoot the picture. So my exposure went from one second without the diffuser, and now the exposure is about two seconds. So it's having a hard time focus, so that means there's just not enough light here. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna focus, and then I'm gonna switch to manual focus. Put the reflector in there, the diffuser in there where I want it. Use the touch focus and go. I'm going to put a little bit more diffusion in here and go. It's awesome. So powerful here. I love it. Now, let's say you want the picture to be a little bit bigger. I want to see a little bit more of the cabbage. So that's why I have the ProMaster macro slider on here with my macro lens. So I can just slide back and get a little bit more in the picture. So I can switch to autofocus, let it focus here, adjust, just like that. So here on my Z7 II, I can hit the button. So I have no data in the picture. Look at that. That's a beautiful image, just like that. Touch focus and shoot. Touch focus and shoot. Now I'm going to use the diffuser again. Soften the light. See, so I want to take that highlight away right there. Right there. And now the exposure is about two seconds long. Look at that. Awesome. So this is what it means to be creative. Have a vision. Have a mentor. Have an inspiration. Channeling Edward Weston today. I know we've used him a lot over the last 369 days, but it's how we be creative. Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, wishing you great fun, great pictures, and use all the tools you can.